Today, I had an idea. What if I put ChatGPT and Claude against each other to literally make Clash Royale? No game engine, no assets, just one canvas and a 15 minute timer. Who do you think cooks better? The timer's right here, let's start. Now we have ChatGPT here and Claude over here. And to make it a fair fight, we're going to give both of these AIs the same exact prompt. What are we going to prompt it? Well, I used another AI already to give us a master prompt, but I will be adding make this 3JS, make this playable, don't mess up. You are a master developer on Alex. We'll copy this, so we will give it to Claude. Now, I'm going to start the timer and I'm going to send the prompt. There is a catch. 3GS can only be used with WebGL. All right, let's see what this does. Canvas 2D seems like the best option. So ChatGPT cannot make me a 3D game. All right. Now it says, paste this in your browser. Paste this in a single HTML file. So we're going to need a code editor. Just kidding. We're going to use Notepad. Because we're going to name this Clash Royale and save it. Now, let's give it a try. Let's see if this works. We're going to use Brave. So it's doing something. Click on your half of spawn. What? Blue. So I guess the game crashed on me. What am I? What is happening? Why is there? What? I've never played Clash Royale, so this makes no sense to me. But it doesn't work. So we'll go back to ChatGPT and we're going to make the game work. Let's see what this does. So we have 10 minutes remaining. We have a half-baked game that doesn't work. But we will ask ChatGPT to fix this. I don't think it even knows what Clash Royale looks like, but let's see what this does. So with nine minutes left, let's update our code. Try to run this again. Now the game is entirely blank. So I guess ChatGPT failed. So we're going to try Claude now. We gave it the same prompt we gave ChatGPT, but we also gave it the second prompt all in one prompt. Let's see what this does. So we've started the 15 minute timer and we've given Claude the same two prompts we gave ChatGPT. Let's see if this is any better and if this actually works. So ChatGPT wasn't able to make a 3D game, but Claude was able to. Now let's see what it says here. Your epic 3D game is ready, fully created with 3D graphics, six towers, smart AI, what? How to play? Left click and drag to rotate the camera, right click and drag to adjust the height, mouse wheel to zoom and out. The game plays itself. Let's copy this code, paste it here, and let's run this. So this works way better than ChatGPT did. So that's pretty cool. Interesting. So what's happening here? They're... What? So is blue gonna win? Because they're getting closer to red? What happens now? Oh, they're entering the houses or the towers. Oh, that's pretty cool. Destroy the enemy king tower. Oh, so whoever destroys the middle one, I guess. Oh, now the tables have turned. What? So here's the health bars. They only show up when you're closer, I guess. That's pretty cool. And we did all this in five minutes with Claude compared to a whole 10 minutes with ChatGPT, which gave us this half. It doesn't even work. ChatGPT doesn't even work. But look at this. Claude is clearly the winner. The next thing I want to try is having Claude make GTA 6 from scratch. So if you want to see that, subscribe.